Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a collective Christmas 2023 haul. So any of the new items I picked up this year for Christmas, I'll be sharing in this video, as well as some of my old favorites. I'm not going to go through and share every single item I have that's Christmas decor because then this video would be like two hours long and that is just too much. So if you're looking for a more in-depth to what I already have, you can actually check out last year's video. I went through and had everything laid out and I still have a lot that I'm sharing that I've already had before, but... I just was not going to be able to get through everything. So I'm excited to share with you guys what it is I picked up for Christmas 2023. So I won't be sharing this in any particular order in terms of retailers. Everything is just going to be blended together, but I am trying to pair all like items together. So we're going to start off with ornaments. And if you've watched any of my Christmas shop with me videos, you will see some items that I have already shared before, as well as some other ones that I've picked up after I filmed those videos. So one of my favorite things I picked up this year are these absolutely stunning flocked velvet, everyone's calling it velvet. It's really a flocked ornament from Hobby Lobby. These ones are so incredibly pretty. These are the dark brown. And then I did also pick up the light brown ones. I'm gonna be going for a brown and metallic theme for my tree this year. And then I just grabbed some random velvet ribbon that Hobby Lobby has in their sewing section. These are both the large size ornaments, but they do have smaller ones as well. I picked up both sizes in both colors. I know that so many of you cannot get your hands on these now. That is why as much as I get crazy looks buying ornaments in July and August, that's why I get them then. Because then by the time you're ready to decorate, everything is already selling out super fast or already gone. So by no means am I pressuring you to start too early or anything like that, but you're going to find some of the best things shopping early. And then that way, when you are ready, you already have them. So I really, really love these. A bunch of other retailers have come out with similar ones now. Um, these ones are definitely the most budget friendly and I love the top on them as well. The coloring is just that like beautiful copper tone, but I'm excited to decorate with these for the Christmas 2023 season. And then another ornament I picked up and it was after I filmed that I went back and it was like, those are actually really cool looking. So I found these star ornaments at Hobby Lobby as well. They come in two different sizes. So there is this smaller one as well as this larger one. So that way you can have a little play on scale happening. The larger one retails for $5.99 full priced and the smaller one retails for $4.99 full priced. And these ones really reminded me a lot of one that Creative Co-op and McGee & Co are selling. Obviously these ones are not like going to last forever because they are like a cardboard type of material. But I thought that these were super fun and they're obviously kid friendly because they are not breakable in any way, shape or form. So I thought that these would be such a fun touch to add a little bit of sparkle against the Christmas lights. And then the next ornament, I did grab more of these photo frame ones. These are part of the hearth and hand line. I absolutely love these. These retail for $5.99 now. And the new ones have a gold frame and the old ones have a copper, if you can see the difference between them. So these ones are just so fun. You can put family photos, photos of your kids, your family. This is our horse, sorry, the glare is so bad. This is our horse Cass. He is just such a sweetie. I share him in my Instagram stories a lot when I go and hang out with him. But um, I just love being able to display photos of our family and loved ones in a tree in a really elegant way. And you can easily swap them out too. 
there is this little hinge on the side that opens up and then you can swap out the photo that you use. But these ones I absolutely love to use year after year. I keep a lot of the same photos in, but I did grab a few more so I can add some updated ones as well. Now for ribbon, I did share in the Hobby Lobby shopping video, I picked up this 3 8 inch coffee color velvet ribbon. This is what I used on the Hobby Lobby ornaments, but I did also grab some ribbon from Amazon. I got this beautiful dark brown satin ribbon, and then I also grabbed this beautiful dark brown velvet. And this is like a one inch size. This is a very big spool of it too, but I figured that these would pair so nicely together. And I really love the dark red from Hobby Lobby. This is showing up much brighter on camera than it actually is, but I thought that these would pair so nicely together for the Christmas season. So I'm definitely going to be incorporating a lot more brown than I normally do in my Christmas decorating. That's definitely been a trend this year and I am thoroughly enjoying it and will definitely be integrating this in both my entryway mirror, my garland on the stairs. I always love to have with some bells and ribbon. So I'm excited to use these this year. Now for my Christmas decorating, I really love to include bells and these smaller ones from Hobby Lobby are so fun. They were super affordably priced too. I only grabbed one and I totally regret it. These are already sold out at every store around me now, so I cannot get my hands on any more of them. But at least I grabbed one this year. Um, if you guys were not able to grab them either, Amazon does sell little packs of just standalone bells and then you can just grab your own jute rope from Hobby Lobby in the florals and wedding section. They have a ton of different ribbon options and ones like this, and you could just create your own version of it. So I'll be sure to link some bells on Amazon as well, but I love that these are smaller. So these will pair perfectly with that smaller wreath that I shared in the Hobby Lobby video that I hung above our stove in our kitchen. So I'm definitely excited for that. And then I found these on my last trip and I had not seen them before and they definitely have existed before now and I just didn't see them. They are these bell napkin rings. I can't explain to you how excited I am to use these for Christmas tablescapes. I'll definitely, definitely be including this. They retail for $2.99 full priced. All Christmas at Hobby Lobby is 50% off right now, but I thought that these were so fun and I picked up a bunch of these. So that way, no matter how many people we have, if we're hosting, we will have plenty of these to go around, but they are just such a fun touch to elevate your tablescape. This next one I was so excited about. I saw some people on Instagram share it and I was finally able to get my hands on one in a recent Target trip. This glass gingerbread container was only $5 in the Target dollar spot. Whoa, sorry, that was loud. They also make a snowman version and there was something else too and I completely cannot remember, so I apologize. I just, I'm obsessed with gingerbread everything, so I was super excited to see this. You could easily put some like K cups in it if you have a cure egg. You could also do pine cones with fairy lights if you just want it to be a decor moment. If you have like a kid's little crafting area, I know it's glass, so proceed with caution, but you could always just stick a bunch of crayons in it too and that would be super fun. But I was so excited to see this and it was so budget friendly too. So why not? <laughs> but this would be a great shelf styling moment as well. And I love all the little detail that they added to it. So I was so excited to see this. So this next item I found when I was shopping around for fall actually, and it is this Luminara LED pine cone candle. And it is such a fun, cozy moment. It has one of those wicker, wicking, <laughs> flickering 
wicks, sorry. Um, and this is so perfect for both fall and Christmas slash winter decorating. There is a timer option on it as well, which is super great. Um, they do have a similar version on Amazon, but it's got gold on the edges. I will be sure to link that so in case you guys have not been able to find the home goods version, they're a dupe for the Pottery Barn ones, which are substantially more pricey. So that's why I absolutely was going to go for the home goods ones. I have not come across any trees yet, but I'm crossing my fingers, holding out some hope that I will find some. But I will be sure to share those on my Instagram stories in case I do find them. Um, in my last video, the Home Goods Shop With Me, I shared this beautiful bell candle. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous, dark, like burgundy color. It's showing up more red in the camera than it is in person. But after Thanksgiving, I really like to bring in more red for our decorating. And this is going to be the perfect soft touch of doing that. I don't like to do bright, bright red. I like to do more of a burgundy tone if I'm able to. And this is just going to be the perfect addition. It is a wonderful fur needle scent. My husband and I both love pine tree smells like that true cypressy Christmas scent is hands down our favorite. So I was really excited to find both a cute bell and one that smelled absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited for this. This retailed for only $12.99. And then at HomeSense, you guys were also just as impressed as I was that I found this. And I just, I'm still so excited about it. I found this anthropology dupe candle for only $30 at HomeSense. And it is absolutely huge it is very heavy so i apologize for shaking it everywhere but i mean do you see the size of my hand in comparison to this it is a three wick candle and i did pick up the anthropology versions last year in the small in the medium this one is so much larger and i'm so excited to be able to style this when the candle runs out but the scent too i can't remember what it's called but it is beautiful and you can just smell it without lighting it. Like right now it's flooding my entire nostril. <laughs> just, but it is so, so pretty and I'm so excited to get to use this this year. Another new item I grabbed this year are these beautiful brown stockings from the Hearth and Hand line. I just grabbed two of them. I already have stockings from years past that I will absolutely be incorporating again. But like I mentioned earlier, I am integrating more brown into my decorating this year and wanted to be able to do that with my stockings as well. I love the little tassel detail and the knit pattern of it. It does come in a cream color as well. These ones are just so pretty. It's definitely more of like a mocha muted brown. The photo on the website makes it look brighter than it actually is. So this is a really, really beautiful color. So I'm excited for these. And then if you guys follow me over on Instagram, I shared these in my stories recently and I picked up some new book boxes. They say Kringle & Co. Workshop and Reindeer Lighting Co. And they're this beautiful, neutral Christmas moment and I'm obsessed with them. I think they're so pretty. If you guys watch the Home Goods Shop With Me video, they have a ton of book boxes and they're a very like bright vintage Christmas moment and they're so incredibly fun. So if you are looking for some book boxes, definitely check out your local Home Goods. They had an absolute ton of them and they were all very reasonably priced. So I want to say the biggest one, which was bigger than this big one, retailed for only $13, which was amazing. So I just love styling with book boxes. I think that stacking things, putting candles on top, just gives a more elegant, elevated look um, and makes things look more intentional a lot of the time too. But they're the perfect hideaway for your remotes, your keys, coasters, all sorts of things. And 
I'm just so, so excited to use these. I thought they were so cute. Right now they are sold out on Amazon, but they are allowing you to order it for a later ship date. Again, everything that I am able to link in this video, I will have linked in the video description. So definitely be sure to check out there. If not, check out my Like to Know It. And by all means, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below, send me a message on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. This other one is this very, very cute snowman. It reminded me so much of Frosty the Snowman. I'm a 90s baby. I grew up watching that every single year and love it. And I'm just, I think he's so adorable. It's definitely a more modern looking snowman. Somebody had mentioned in my last video to put a little velvet ribbon as a scarf. And I think that is such a cute idea. So I'm definitely gonna have to play around with that. I thought that that was so smart. And this retailed for only $6.99, which was super reasonably priced for this. Another fun item I picked up this year are these adorable driftwood reindeer. I really love to bring in lots of texture to my spaces, wood, metals, glass, just all sorts of different tones. And these are just such a fun touch without being too too crazy. You can easily put these on a front porch or a mantle. I grabbed a small and a medium one. They did also have a large, but I felt like it was going to be too big for anything that I was going to have going on. So maybe if I find a spot next year, I can grab another one. But I thought that these were so incredibly cool. The smaller one retailed for $14.99 and the larger one retailed for $19.99, I believe. And I found these at Home Goods and Home Sense. So definitely look at both places. I know I have a lot of you from Canada. You have Home Sense, but not Home Goods. So I'm crossing my fingers. You can find those if you are looking for them. Another great item that I picked up this year is this beautiful cream stoneware bell from Kirkland's. I got both the small and the large one. I just grabbed the small one for the video. Just, I have a lot going on behind the scenes. If you look at my coffee table, it is covered and everything. And I have a lot of reindeer, I've noticed. Um, but this one is so pretty. This is a great dupe for one that Pottery Barn carried. The smaller one retailed for $19.99 and the larger one was $29.99. On the website, they sold them as a set of two. They are sold out on the website right now. In store, they're sold individually under a different item number. Um, so definitely call around, see if you're able to find them so you can get your hands on them. But these are just so incredibly pretty and I love that they're a neutral tone. So no matter how you like to decorate, if it's a neutral, traditional, it just pairs so well with everything and bells are just something that always look beautiful styled on a shelf so i'm super excited to be able to use these this year and then i shared this in a couple of videos and it is this adorable tasseled penguin so many of you thought that he was so cute as well he's a dupe for the ones from our house and is just a su such a fun touch in a kid's room, shelf styling. He can hang around for winter decorating as well. And this retailed for $14.99 from Home Goods. I did go to Home Goods the other day. I've been going probably two to three times a week, which sounds crazy, but most of the time I leave empty handed and that is totally okay. But then you'll just find some random awesome thing like that bell candle. And never see it again so i feel like it's definitely worth it They're getting new deliveries all the time um but i thought that he was such a fun touch for the holiday season this next one was part of the new studio mcgee line and it is this deer print i apologize for the glare um deer elk something i don't know um i thought that this was so fun my husband loves the outdoors and everything that goes along with it so i know we're gonna actually get year-round use out of it which is great 
Um, I know there are quite a few of you that can't get your hands on it or you're in Canada so you can't grab it. I did find some digital downloads that have deer. So if you want to find a frame that you like, you can grab a deer print and create your own version of this so that you can still get that fun touch in your homes this season. But I think that this is so fun. So I definitely, definitely was excited to get my hands on that. And then the other one is this tree print from Target as well. It's got this like canvas-like material and I love it. For one, it's huge. I did not think it was gonna be this big. It did not read the dimensions at all. But I love that it's an oval instead of a rectangle. I just, we all get kind of caught up in everything being very squared off and it's important to introduce different shapes to spaces. And I just, there's so much texture and detail in this and it is so pretty. I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go. It could definitely go on that wall there, but I don't know. We're, we're gonna see what might need a little bit of sprucing up for the holidays and find a place for it. Another fun item I picked up this year was this beautiful wood sled from Home Goods. It's pulling more orange on camera than it actually is. It's actually a very, very nice color tone. I thought this was such a fun touch, especially for Christmas and winter decorating. And again, it's neutral, so it'll just go with absolutely everything that you could possibly imagine. I just, I'm so excited. I've wanted a sled for so long, but I didn't want something that was super tiny, but I didn't also want something that was absolutely massive. So I was really excited to find this one at my local home goods. It was hiding underneath the table. So definitely take a good look around when you are shopping at your local home goods. So this next item was definitely a splurge and I just don't have words, didn't have words, still don't have words. It is this enormous Jingle Bell from Kirkland's. This is the size small, if you can believe it. This is just such a fun touch next to a Christmas tree put in a corner of the room that just needs something fun. You can do it on a covered front porch as well. They make three different sizes of it. This is the 16 inch. I know that Hobby Lobby comes out with their white and red version each year. So you could definitely grab one of those and spray paint it. This one though is amazing because this middle band actually comes off right here and you can put the spheres in each other to make storage that much easier. I think that that alone makes this worth it. That is just so smart. And I love that it is just a classic jingle bell. There's no funny star snowflake moment. It's just nice and simple the way I like it. And I don't know exactly where this is gonna go because there are so many, so many possibilities, but I'm so excited to decorate with it. <laughs> And another fun item I picked up this year, I actually can't hold it, it's a little bit too large. It is that Walmart Christmas tree, the four foot LED Christmas tree. It has gone in and out of stock so many times already. It is a great crate and barrel dupe. I'll put some overlay footage of it. It retailed for only $59 and is that real feel and is so, so good. I definitely spent a solid 30 minutes fluffing it, but fluffing makes all the difference when it comes to faux trees. Trust me, especially with your Christmas tree. But I will be sure when I do my Christmas decorating and everything, I will give you all the tips and tricks on that one. But I absolutely loved this Walmart tree and I'm so excited to incorporate it in our space. Now, last year I decorated with a ton of the Norfolk garlands and stems from Kirkland's. And this year I picked up a new pine garland from Kirkland's. I wanted to just bring something else in the mix, have a different color, have a different texture. I love to layer my garlands as well. It creates more fullness and just looks so, so fun. So. I thought that this was absolutely beautiful. Definitely 
definitely something to consider. And I did actually grab one more Norfolk one this year. And these ones are just gorgeous. They're so whimsical and they just drape so nicely. I love how they just, whoop, there's fuzzies going everywhere. <laughs> um, I just absolutely love them. I think that they are such a fun touch for Christmas and winter decorating. The Norfolk stems are selling out so incredibly fast. They've sold out a couple of times now on Kirkland's. They did come out with a pre-lit version this year. You could definitely achieve the same look using just regular ones and adding fairy lights to it. I grabbed two more of the stems this year. I have a ton of these already, but I use all of them. So I am not upset to grab a couple more of them. They definitely are a brighter green color, but I will say I have some filler trees in my backyard that are the exact same color as this. So I know it can look a little aggressive with how bright this green is, but it is actually a very realistic look when you are comparing it to real greenery too. So, but by all means, whatever your decorating preference is, go with that. I absolutely love these and will definitely be using them again this year. And then I went to at home the other day. I did not film an at home shop with me because that store is just, there's so much happening. I was honestly overwhelmed and needed to just shop and not be checking out every single thing. I would have been there forever, but I did find these stems and they remind me so much of these like smaller bush ones I got from House and Home a couple years ago, but these are a nice tall one. They definitely give that like blue fur pine moment and they are a real touch. These retailed for $7.99 for one, which if you're looking at the Norfolk ones at A floral or 28 at Kirkland's are $9.99. This is very averagely priced, actually like a little below average, which is very, very fair. So I did pick up five of these just so I have some options for where I want to put them because I love my Norfolks, but I also love to combine greenery. So definitely you can tone down the Norfolk, adding something like this as a filler piece. And the colors are just so fun. This stem... I unfortunately cannot link. I actually got this one from A Floral. During the summer, they had a sale on winter stuff. It's definitely shop out of season. You can get things at such a good price. And these were just so gorgeous. They're a cypress branch and the stem detail is amazing on these. These are discontinued. They're no longer available at all. So I apologize. I cannot link them for you guys, but these are just such a beautiful statement moment. I don't know where these are going either, but they're going somewhere. I'll tell you that much. They are absolutely gorgeous. Now we are getting to the last of the new items for this year and it's pillows and throws. So in my designer look for less video, I shared a Powdery Barn faux fur throw blanket and Target has a great dupe version. It comes in a like off-white creamy color and a lighter brown. I found the creamy color in store. This is so cozy and so soft. I found it after I filmed the Studio McGee shop with me, of course, which was fine but it's always such a bummer because i want to be able to share these things with you guys so this is amazing so there's the faux fur side and then there's a velvet side so this is going to be so fun i love adding faux fur for my fall winter christmas decorating it brings so much texture in a space i have that dark brown one from home goods i've had for years now absolutely love it and this one is going to be such a fun addition and it's just so cozy. I'm so excited. But definitely, if you're looking for a good faux fur, this is a great option. 
Home Goods also has a ton of different options available too. So definitely shop around. I'll be sure to link this one in the video description. This I'm so excited I was able to find it in store because I wasn't sure. Obviously you can't tell from images online how something actually is gonna look. So I was super excited about that. And then I have this tree print pillow. It is cream in these boxes here. I know it's pulling a little like gray green almost, but I was so excited because this one actually pairs very nicely with my tree pillows from last year. I'll grab that one in a couple minutes to share with you guys. Um, but I'm going to just grab, I grabbed one of these. I don't need more pillows. I really don't but here we are. So I thought this was such a fun touch for the Christmas and winter season without being too overly festive. This next pillow was definitely a splurge item, but I, I love gingerbread. I love gingerbread everything. And I felt like I just could not live without it. And it is this Pottery Barn gingerbread lumbar pillow it's embroidered and it is so so pretty but it is so cute too look at him with the candy cane oh my gosh this is also so much bigger than i thought it was going to be the of course the size is in the listing and i still did not compute that it is a 16 by 12 26 inch pillow so it is a statement moment for sure obviously it's sold as a cover so you can remove the remove you can add a down insert I just have a random one that I already have in the house for now just to be able to share it with you guys but I love the candy cane details of everything it is so incredibly cute again definitely a splurge item but there is just nothing like this i will hunt all the time for dupe versions of everything i think if you can save money you absolutely should but sometimes you just gotta go for the splurge because there is literally nothing like it so i thought that this was so incredibly fun and i'm so excited to use it I think I'm gonna put it in our living room but it definitely could be really fun in our bedroom as well but to go along with that I always love fun festive shaped pillows for fall I do the pumpkin ones Kirkland's came out with this stunning Christmas tree it is this beautiful green velvet on this side and then a classic plaid which is so incredibly fun this definitely gives that like pottery barn high-end look the green is such a beautiful color as well they did a great job selecting the fabric for that one this one is definitely going to sell out very very fast and then because i love everything gingerbread i absolutely love the pottery barn gingerbread man pillow but it's $80 and I was not going to do that at all. So my crafty self, I DIY'd my own gingerbread man pillow and I just did green buttons instead of the red. I feel like I did a decent job. I This is totally from scratch. I grabbed this fabric from Hobby Lobby as well as this ribbon and then just crocheted his face. So definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know how I did. I DIY'd him for, I wanna say under $15 in comparison to Powdery Barn's $80 one. So not bad if I don't say so myself. So now we are getting into the old favorites that I have that I've decorated with in years past. Some of it is linkable, some of it, most of it, unfortunately, is not. Um, but continuing with the pillow conversation, Pottery Barn also has that amazing snowflake pillow, and I DIY'd my own version last year. If you don't want to DIY, though, Hobby Lobby has a dupe that retails for only $23.99 full-priced, and Christmas is 50% off. So 
definitely if you don't feel like DIYing, you can do that. But I will definitely be using my snowflake pillows again this year. And then I am using these tree ones. I got these last year from the Studio McGee line and they just have such a beautiful color and that like designer stamp like block pattern on it. And I just enjoyed these so much. I want to use them again. And so that's why as much as the new line was pretty, I'm just staying with what I have. I think that these are gorgeous. And here you can see the new one with this one and the color tones are spot on with each other. So that was what I was nervous about. Sometimes even for being the same designer, you're manufacturing at different times so the colors won't match up well. And what they did this year is definitely more of that blue green color than the true green. And I really like a true forest green when it comes to Christmas. And these ones pair together so, so nicely. So definitely, if you have these from last year, you can keep this in mind if you're looking for something bigger. Um, but I'm definitely excited to pull these out of the closet and use them again. And then from a few years ago now, these are one of my absolute favorites. And I found them 70% off after Christmas. So don't sleep on after Christmas clearance. They are these gorgeous lumbar pillows with this beautiful tree detail. This is why I didn't grab the lumbar from this year because I have this one and it is just way too similar to that one. And I love the fringe detailing on it. This is the one that I tend to use in my early Christmas decorating. And then I also found it in the red one on clearance too. So this is the one I use after Thanksgiving to bring in that deep burgundy color. It is so pretty. It's the exact same pillow, just a different color. And I'm so excited. I like talking about Christmas right now. I'm just so ready, but the Halloween is staying up until Halloween. And then November 1st, everything is fair game in my decorating land. So I'm so excited to get started on all of this. My stockings from last year, I absolutely loved and will be incorporating again. And they are this knit one that was from Studio McGee, as well as this plaid one, which was from a couple years ago that I got on clearance, 70% off as well. And these were just so incredibly pretty. And the brown pairs so nicely with them. I am definitely going to just put out one of each. There's three of us. And then I did DIY these stocking tags last year. And the green is a little wrinkly. I apologize. The green tone goes so perfectly with all of them. So I am so excited to be able to hang these back up again this year. They are so, so pretty. If you are wondering how I DIY'd this stocking tag, I actually did it in a video and I will have that linked down below so that you guys can check it out. But it's just such a fun touch. Absolutely love it. And I'm, I'm just so ready for Christmas. <laughs> One of my absolute hands down favorite items, if you are going to splurge on something, are these adorable Pottery Barn reindeer. I absolutely love these. These are so cute and such a delicate, fun touch. I have the small and the medium one. The medium one is actually quite big. Don't have the large one. I will eventually grab it, but they are definitely pricey. I think the large one is $80. So I'm more than okay with these two for now. This one is such a perfect size for a coffee table, side table. I styled both of these on our entryway table last year and absolutely love how it looked. I think it was so much fun. And I did style both of them on our kitchen island as well at one point. I think it was for winter. I can't entirely remember, but these ones are so fun and I'm so excited to decorate with them again this year. And as I was going through everything, I realized that I have a lot of reindeer. I only grabbed 
three of them just because I didn't want to get way too chatty. Um, but I also have these gold ones. These were another one that I found after Christmas clearance shopping and got them 70% off. And I absolutely love these ones. I think that they are so fun and I love to style them in our master bedroom. It pulls the gold from the lamps and it just gives a nice fun touch. I feel like especially during the holidays, bringing in those metallics just looks so pretty and it just brings such a cozy, magical touch to the space. So I'm definitely excited to get to decorate with these ones again this year. And then one, I love these reindeer for one. <laughs> Um, actually obsessed with them. I've had them for about three years now and I got them from Kirkland's and they unfortunately discontinued them this year. They are these whitewash huge reindeer. I've styled these so many different ways. I've used them on our fireplace mantle in our rental home. I've done them on the fireplace mantle here as well. I styled them on our dining table for a beautiful Christmas tablescape and they are just so pretty. I have the laying down one and the standing up one. These ones are discontinued this year. Kirkland's did come out with a similar version of them, but they are basically the size of this gold one. So they're significantly smaller and they have a wreath detail around their neck. They're not plain like this one. They're still super cute looking. Just keep in mind that they are definitely different than these reindeer are. But I absolutely love these. They're one of my favorite neutral decor pieces to style with year after year. So I know I shared these smaller hanging bells from Hobby Lobby earlier. These hanging bells I actually got from Kirkland's, I wanna say, three years ago now. It's been quite some time, but Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, a ton of different retailers sell hanging bells like this. And I love to style these on our staircase and put them on the railing at the base of it with some ribbon. So I'll definitely be doing that again. And then I have another one that I style in our Christmas tree and have it kind of weaving in and out of the Christmas tree. And it is just such a fun touch. I really love my Christmas tree to kind of be a hunt for the fun items kind of moment. I definitely like my core pieces that stand out and just kind of all throughout. But I like to have a fun one here or there and just something to kind of catch your eye. And I think that this is just such a fun touch to add to your Christmas tree. This ornament is one of my absolute favorites. I picked this up three or four years ago now from Kirkland's and I've never seen them again. And I'm so sad about it. They are these beautiful stag deer heads and they're just, they're substantial. They're not light, they're not plastic. They're definitely like a resin, but I love the color tone of them. And again, just like the bells being a pop of fun, these are just such a beautiful statement item in the tree and I so wish that they brought them back because I absolutely would have gotten more of them. But they are just so incredibly fun. Hobby Lobby does have a shatterproof like silver version of this. So you could always grab the Hobby Lobby ones and grab some spray paint and spray paint them to give them a more high end look but I just think that this is so fun and I crossing my fingers, maybe one day they'll bring them back, but these are one of my favorites to decorate with. Um, I shared these in my Hobby Lobby shop with me. These are the Nutcrackers that I DIY'd last year. I used some leftover stain and the Craft Nutcrackers that Hobby Lobby sells. Hobby Lobby did come out with their own stained version this year, but they only did it in one size. So if you are looking to have a more cohesive look with more than one, I would just go in the back to the craft section, grab the natural wood ones, grab some leftover stain from your garage and make it happen. And that way too, you can make sure that the color tone matches what's already going on in your space. These ones complement my coffee table perfectly. 
not saying you need everything to be matchy matchy by all means but it's always helpful when things tie in together and makes it look more intentional and it gives it a more high-end look without putting in that much more effort so I just, I love these. They're one of my go-tos now for decorating and I'm excited to use them again this year. And another fun item is this beautiful wood tree. Studio McGee did bring these back this year, which I was so excited to see. I love to use these for both Christmas and winter decorating and they just bring so much texture in a space. This is the small one. It also comes in a tall version. The small retails for 15 and the larger one retails for 20. And these are a great dupe for the R House driftwood trees. So definitely, I highly recommend these if you are looking to add some texture and something neutral for your Christmas and winter decorating. We're getting down to the last few things now. I know I have a lot going on. I've been really, really chatty. <laughs> but I know so many of you have wanted to see both the new and the old favorites of everything. This one is such a fun flocked sisal tree. I got these from House and Home actually a couple years ago and they're just so fun. I love the lighter green color and they're perfect for Christmas and winter decorating and you can easily pot them on a coffee table like with a tray or something, put them on your entry table and they're just so fun. I love the little bark detail on the bottom of it as well. And that is that little snowy moment. But I have this one and a smaller one too. I don't know where that one went. I've got a lot of Christmas decor in my garage. Ask my husband. There's a lot happening. <laughs> um, and then I did find this when I was sifting through my bins. I have another Christmas book box. It's Dashing Through the Snow. And again, this is that same neutral tone and it pairs perfectly well color-wise with the new ones that I picked up this year. So I could always mix and match them if I'm looking for the spines to be different. These are great for tabletop styling, shelf styling. I just, I love to incorporate stuff like this in my entry table, coffee table, all sorts of things. So I was super excited to refine that one. <laughs> it's amazing how many things you lose when you just pack it all up in a rush. So I'm excited to get started. And another fun statement moment. I actually have these, I kept the package because there was just no way I could safely store these without them shattering into a million pieces. Um, it is this gorgeous ornament garland. I got this from a house and home and it is so, so pretty. I used these on our master bed last year to give a really fun statement moment. You could easily take the garland apart though and just use the ornaments as ornaments. They come in so many different colors. I have the silver. This would look so beautiful too on like a staircase with your garland. But like I was mentioning, they have them in blue, pink, gold, silver, red and silver, just red. There are so, so many options. They do fluctuate in price on Amazon, but I will have them linked down below if you would like to check them out. And then for my greenery that I've had from years past that I love, this is the last thing we're talking about. Um, I love these pine cone stems. These were from Kirkland's, I want to say three years ago now. They did not bring them back as far as I've seen, which is super, super sad. I love them because they're not real. They're not a dried preserved one. So they're not gonna sit there and crack and break in storage, which is why I went for these. A lot of retailers did come out with preserved ones. So I will have some similar options linked down below, but I love to use these for my early Christmas decorating and throughout winter as well. They're just such a fun statement and I love how they come in different sizes too. And you really only need one or two to create a statement moment. So I will definitely be using these again this year. And another one for early Christmas decorating are these white berry stems. These were from Hearth and Hand 
three or four years ago now, and I have not seen white ones come back out. I've seen red. So if you are a traditional color decorator, you could definitely use those. I like to do white in the beginning and then red after Christmas, but these ones are just so incredibly pretty. And I love that the actual stem is not that like paper plastic kind of moment. Another one of my favorites are another from House and Home, and it is this little pine bush. It has so much movement in it. I just think it's so whimsical. It's definitely a very like frosty iced kind of moment, which I love. I love to incorporate this with the cedar stems from Hobby Lobby. I did that with the white berry ones in our master bedroom last year, and it was so incredibly pretty. And these are really great also on a coffee table, but these were the ones that I was referencing look similar to the at-home ones. So I'll grab one of those. Sorry, I was about to knock things over. So these are the ones I was referencing look very similar to this, just in a full stem. Um, the at-home ones are slightly darker and are definitely a more substantial one. These ones can break off a little bit easily. I love both of them. I think that they are just so incredibly fun and are perfect for layering and just bringing in more texture into your arrangements, making them look more intentional and natural. I mean, look how gorgeous these all are. I just, I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of year to decorate. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm excited. Another favorite of mine, because I have so many favorites, are these beautiful juniper stems I found at the depot last year. Sky and I went to the depot after Thanksgiving, but before Christmas, I'm pretty sure. And we found these gorgeous stems. I absolutely love these. These are another one I like to incorporate with the Norfolks and just layer everything in. But I did get some smaller pick versions on Amazon. And I think it was a pack of 12, if I'm remembering correctly. So that way I use these as like bowl filler, put some in my garland. There's so many options. They are tiny, but if you have a little bud vase, you can just stick a couple of these in your bathroom. And that is just such a fun touch. Absolutely love these. And these have that beautiful blue hue on it. If you remember, I totally forgot to grab it. I grabbed that blue velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby this year. And I was thinking about this and somebody had mentioned that would be perfect for winter decorating. And I totally agree with them. So I'm gonna hold off on the blue ribbon until winter, I think. And they'll look so incredibly pretty with these stems. But the last two items, and I promise I will let you go, um, I have these iced picks from Hobby Lobby. These are so fun. I used these in both my tree and my garland last year, and it just gave that like perfect icy touch. And with the fairy lights and everything, it was just so whimsical and so cozy. I absolutely loved it and will definitely be using these again this year. They have the slightest glitter hint on the actual stem of it but I don't mind. I'm not a huge glitter person, but these ones are totally fine with that. But I love, love these. And the last item that I will definitely be incorporating again this year for my pop of red are these beautiful berry stems from Hobby Lobby. This is a new one I picked up this year. They retail $14.99 full priced. The stem itself has a slight gold hue to it, but my plan, because I have I wanna say like five or six of them already, is this one I'm actually going to cut apart and put some stems in my garland after Thanksgiving. I think that'll look so incredibly pretty. I saw Brenda do that from Cozyaholic a few years ago and just, it looked gorgeous. So I definitely wanna give that a try myself and I'm so excited to get started decorating. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends, finally. <laughs> I know that it was quite lengthy. It was quite chatty. So many of you guys wanted to know what it was I actually picked up for this Christmas season. Again, I did not touch on my whole Christmas collection. I have a video from last year for Christmas 2022 
where I literally had everything laid out and went more in depth about specific items I have. I felt like this was just going to be such a doozy already that I wasn't going to do that to you guys. So I sure hope that you enjoyed. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite items were. Again, anything I'm able to link will be linked in the video description for you guys. I always appreciate you guys shopping my links. It helps support my channel at no additional cost to you. So I greatly, greatly appreciate that. My next video, we will finally be kicking off the Christmas decorating. And I am so happy and excited to actually say that. So definitely, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell. It will alert you anytime I have a new upload. The first video will be my Christmas entryway and it will go live on Thursday. So definitely be on the lookout for that. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today and I will see you when we start decorating for Christmas. Bye guys.